Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and this is just going to be a talking head channel update video um, because I got back from the Czech Republic yesterday. So, you know, flying back in from the Alza OC team uh, meetup thing at four games. I'm not actually sure what the name of the event was, which is which is great. Like, I don't even know what. Yeah. So, yeah, I just got back. Um, I have a whole bunch of content coming up that's not related to the event at all because it turns out that show floors are terrifying like seriously i didn't um well no but i don't like show floors definitely and the other thing is is just producing content on show floors is like impossible for me currently and actually probably going to stay impossible for the relatively far future as well so that's kind of that. And we'll get to that after, but the first thing I want to do is kind of just teaser some content that's going to be coming out. So I've been getting a ton of messages from people to do a PCB breakdown of the Maximus 11 Hero. I am doing one. It's going to be going up on the Gamers Nexus channel. I don't know when. Um, I've not yet finished the video, but I do have the photos. I have most of the notes written up. It's just a matter of like figuring out. Like, I, I haven't produced a video in a week, so basically I'm using this video to kind of get back into it. After this video, I'll probably do the Maximus 11 Hero, and then after that is going to be a massive onslaught on this channel, so actually hardcore overclocking here. Um, I'm going to be doing a massive onslaught of Gigabyte motherboards because uh, Gigabyte got in touch with me. They think they've done a great job on the, the VRMs on their new Z390 lineup. I'm inclined to agree. Um, I do think they've done a pretty imp good job with, uh, with the VRMs on the Aorus motherboards. Um, and so I've agreed to basically go and do, uh, PCB breakdowns for all of those boards because Gigabyte is providing pictures and information about the motherboards. And they also said that they're, they're going to send me along, uh, a, a Z390 master board so I can test it, um, as well. And so I do kind of consider that sponsored content, but I mean... And I don't think I'm going to let that stop me from, from saying what, what I think about most of the boards. I, I mean, I don't think I'm that harsh. You know, I don't think I'll be that harsh. Worst case scenario, I don't get a board. They already sent all of the pictures, so it's not like they could stop me, right? Like, at worst, they can tell me, oh, you're being too mean. We're not going to send you the board. And I'm just going to be like, well, I'm uploading it anyway, whatever. Um, so, that that's... Uh, that's a thing, and I'm kind of, so yeah, bunch of Z390 gigabyte boards, um, Maximus 11 Hero for Gamers Nexus, there's also, I think, yeah, I'm going to be also doing the Z390 Tai Chi for Gamers Nexus, and then some GPU stuff, and, and what it, basically whatever hardware Steve gets, I'm going to do PCB breakdowns for, um, that's no problem at all. Um, other than that, I've managed to, which I've actually done like basically yesterday and today, uh, I managed to find a relatively reasonably priced 7940X. Um, so I picked it up. It's second hand. And uh, yeah, now I'll have a 7940X. And the reason why, why I jumped it so quickly is like, I really, really want to be back on X299. It's just, uh, I mean, I have the two 1080 Ti's and I just need enough CPU firepower to back them up at this point. So 7940X, here we go. This time it's mine, so that means we can actually do stuff to it. Because um, the previous one was on loan, so it's not like I could abuse it a lot. But I do want to try out things like sanding down the die, uh, sanding down the IHS, basically sound, sanding down pretty much everything. Um, I might actually try direct die um, with it as well. I'm not sure. But since it's now my chip, you know, I'm pretty happy to, to do whatever to it obviously I'll, I'll be careful with it for, for like starting out but you know eventually like I always tell myself oh I'll be careful and and then I end up hanging vault mods off of a you know several hundred dollar graphics card or whatever and so um it's just going to be a matter of time before I end up uh, abusing that CPU as I normally would so yeah, and I'm pretty excited about that coming in because obviously it's just like I'm 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 really annoyed that I can't bench on you know high core count uh, Intel, and a lot of people would be like, oh, we'd like to see Threadripper. The thing is, Threadripper really isn't great at 3D Mark Firestrike. So yeah, that's my justification. I'm a sucker for Firestrike, and since I'm a sucker for Firestrike, 
I need a four, like, I, well, ideally I'd want the 16 core, but the 16 core is ridiculously expensive and it's not that much faster. So that's why I'm going for the 14. Um, because Firestrike only goes up to 32 threads. So actually the 18 core doesn't do as well in Firestrike as, uh, like the, if you have a, if you have a 7980 XE and you're benching Firestrike, you should probably drop the core count down to 16, 30, uh, to 16 cores, 32 threads. And, and try clock it up a bit higher rather than running 18, 30, uh, 36, because Firestrike doesn't actually go to that many threads. But yeah, anyway, so 7940X coming in. Um, other than that, I have a whole bunch of hardware that's, I think, sitting... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of hardware waiting for me in the P.O. box. Um, so I'll try to get around to that soon. Um, and what else is there? All right, that's that's basically it for the sort of upcoming content stuff. I mean, a lot of the old hardware just gets thrown onto the pile of old hardware I have, and it's just like, eventually I'll get to it, eventually. I don't know when eventually is, but, um, you know, someday I'll run out of stuff to do, and th then I can do stuff on the pile, um, which is why I'll never run out of stuff to do. But... Uh, yeah, uh, now then let's let's talk, you know, trend that that's pretty much everything um, as in near near term plans go. Um, so let's talk about the event, the event. Um, it was interesting, like I expected it to like, yeah, it, it was interesting. I'll put it that way. Um, so the thing is, I basically like going into the going into this, um, my goals were basically to figure out like what because I've never been on a show floor and I've certainly never been on a show floor well actually no that's not entirely just true I've been on a show floor like once in the past but that was more like a consumer electronics expo not uh not you know a, like a gaming show and the the difference the, the, it's a pretty big difference like I well I don't even remember the first time I went to a show floor um, that well anyway. So I don't know how big the difference actually is for sure, but it feels like it was quite the difference. Um, turns out the show floors are really, really loud, um, which uh, basically means there's no way I'm creating content on one. I don't have the equipment for that kind of environment. Um, and like... You know, as we all know, I don't really care that much for production quality, but when the production quality is, so, like, on the level of nobody can hear what I'm saying because, quite frankly, the people standing next to me can barely hear what I'm saying, uh, then it's a problem. You know, that that's the point where I do care, because if nobody can hear what I'm saying, then what's the bloody point, right? Um, so, basically, I figured out that, yeah, producing content on show at show floors... Uh, for me currently is basically not possible and therefore not something I should consider when considering show floors, like going to any kind of show, um, you know, thinking like, oh, I'll go to this and I'll make videos at XYZ event. It's just not going to happen because I just can't do that. Not capable of doing that. Um, the other thing I figured out is I actually really don't like show floors, and I kind of figured that would happen because I generally don't like crowds, um, and show floors are, of course, crowded, and, uh, I also don't necessarily like meeting people I don't know, um, which I think, I, I don't think I handled it too badly on that front, um, but personally, like, for me at least, it's really stressful just to like be at the booth and there's people walking by and you, you know they're, they're looking at what you're doing it's like like the the best way i can describe it is like everything i dislike about doing benchmark like benching on live streams like everything i dislike about benching on live streams show floors are that cranked up to 11 and the end result is that i really really didn't like like um, basically, the, like, trying to bench on a show floor, and sorry for touching the mic there, um, but yeah, so, it, it was, like, it was an interesting experience, it was not what I would consider particularly pleasant, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, um, the end result is basically, I don't, uh, 
Like I was toying with the idea of maybe going to like CES with Gamers Nexus. Um, and I've decided that, you know what, that's a stupid idea. Because if I can't handle this small sort of local gaming show in the Czech Republic, there is no way I'm going to survive CES. Just no way. I like, I don't even want to go anywhere near it at this point. Um, or anything like that big either. So like Computex also just straight up, no, like I'm not going to get any content produced. It's going to cost a ton of money and I'm not even going to enjoy it very much because I don't in like, I just don't enjoy those kinds of environments. They make me extremely stressed out very, very quickly. So yeah, um, that's, that's, that's basically it. Um, in terms of actual benchmarking, it was a complete disaster because I came in, like I turned up ill prepared. And then also just the fact that, you know, again, it was on a show floor and I was stressed out. It made it that much harder to sort of like, you can sometimes see it on live streams where like I'll occasionally just do stupid things because I'll be trying to like speed things up to keep them interesting. So similarly, it's like if I bench for my like, just for fun for my like off stream, then, you know, I tend to take things a lot slower. I tend to be more, not necessarily more method, meth, uh, methodical, but just slower and just more thought out. So I'll still do like the stupid, you know, like I want, I usually on, on live streams, I go one, two, skip a few, here we go for seven gigahertz or whatever, that kind of thing. So I'll still do that if I'm benching off stream. Um, it's just that when I do it benching off stream, I tend to be a bit more attentive to what kind of issues I'm running into rather than the whole, oh, it doesn't work, I don't know what I'm doing response that I, I normally get. And show floor is just same problem. So I didn't really get any scores. And a lot of that was also just the fact that the motherboard I was on, I was on the Z370 Gaming 7 from Gigabyte. And uh, turns out that you don't need, like, you need a few more voltages than that motherboard offers. Um, so, yeah, that really, really didn't work out great for me there. Because basically, I was stuck at minus 101, minus 120 degrees Celsius. And I couldn't go below that because the CPU would cold bug. Um, so I was pretty much stuck benching, like, Cinebench at best at, like, 6.1 gigahertz. Um, both on a 9900K and an 8086K. And I did get like a pretty, like not completely terrible scores on, on both, but I didn't bother to save the 8086K one because it was just so, like it was 6.1 gigahertz. Like I'm not going to post that, that sucks. But then when it came to the 9900K, that was on Saturday because I skipped Friday on the basis that, well, um, I did Thursday. And after Thursday, I felt bloody terrible. So I was just like, okay, I need to recover. I need to just figure out what I'm doing, you know, get my bearings back. So I skipped Friday. Um, and then Saturday, I was benching the 9900K because Thursday I was on the 8086K. Um, and the whole time I was also trying to maybe bench the 780Ti. And on Thursday, the 780Ti was giving me a whole bunch of issues with basically like black screens. Saturday, the drivers refused to work. It was really like, I don't know what happened, but basically after I switched from the uh, 8086K to the 9900K, Windows freaked out, dropped the drivers, and I couldn't get them to reinstall at that point. And it was just like, yeah, well, I'm done. Um, so, you know, Saturday it was just like, oh, well, I'm stuck with the 9900K and I'm still stuck on the same cold bug of minus, 100 and one tw uh, minus 120. So whatever score I'll get, I'll just save and I'll upload. And... Yeah, you know, it was just, it was awful. It was really, really bad. And a lot of it comes down to, on my part, like bad preparation, wrong motherboard for the, for the job. Like really, like it's, it's not the extreme overclocking seven for a reason. It's the gaming seven. It's really not meant for LN2. So that, that was just a straight up kind of disaster because of that. Cause it just didn't have the voltages I needed, right? Like there, there's not much I can do at that point. And it, some of it might also just be down to the fact that I am not that great at benching Coffee Lake in general on the basis that I've benched Coffee Lake at the event and never before that. So, yeah. Um, honestly, like, score-wise, benchmark-wise, just complete disaster. Um, and, and then the 780 Ti, like, yeah, it was just, quite frankly... 
I mean, what what could I have expected, right? This was the first time I was going to an event like this, like first time ever, and uh, it was a disaster. I mean, that was pretty predictable as far as I'm concerned. Um, so yeah, and for the future, I guess you know, it's it's a case of prepare better, definitely prepare a lot better. The problem was I was really hoping that like the Maximus 11 gene would be available at this point, right? Like I, I was really hoping that I would fly in and just buy a gene um, and, and run on that. But nope, the board's still not available anywhere and I don't know when it's gonna hit retail. So it's just like, yeah, so I was stuck on whatever motherboard I had that was working and somebody's gonna like, uh, like, Theoretically, I could have like gotten the Maximus 9 Apex I have and put like a Coffee Lake BIOS on it. Like I, I assume that a Coffee Lake BIOS for it exists and just run it with mods and, and run Coffee Lake on that. The problem with that board is it's having ma like it's been having massive memory overclocking issues for like a while now that I've still not fixed. So basically I figured, well, the Gigabyte board looks like it might have all the necessary voltages and I tur that turned out to be wrong. So yeah. Um, basically, you know, not pre like, wasn't prepared properly, um, and then just the, yeah, so, score, like, could have definitely prepared better, then the scores would have been better, um, the, the actual experience of, like, being at an event like this, I didn't really enjoy it that much, uh, part of it's the scores, part of it's just, like, it's real, like, for me, it's really, really stressful being in such a crowded environment, um, and, yeah, so, that, that's pretty much it, that's, that's really all there is to it, you know, I got one score at, like, 6.1 gigahertz with the 9900K, um, I think it was 2,675 points in Cinebench. I could have probably run a bunch of other benchmarks, but, like, originally, like, my goal was to go there and bench the 780 Ti, because I find 3D, like, I just enjoy 3D that much more. Um, but the 780 Ti decided to just not work after I put the 9900K in the board, so, yeah, that was, that was kind of over on the spot with that situation, so... Yeah, that was the event. I think it was really interesting. Like, I, I, it was interesting, you know? I got to talk to a lot of people from the, the, the Alza OC team and a lot of people from, like, the from the Czech hardware community, and that was really, really cool. Um, there was a couple of fans of... Cha uh, a couple people who were fans of the channel that came by, um, and, you know, it was, it was, well... It was okay talking to you. <laughs> um... Well, no, it was it was interesting enough, but it was on it like for me the whole thing was just I'm un un uncomfortable in general. Um especially like the fan in I well, some of the fan interactions if not most of them, I don't know. It's just like I'm just awkward around people, so, you know. Yeah. Um or at least I felt really awkward. I don't know if it showed. It probably did. I don't, like, that. I'm just that bad at this. So I don't even know if it showed or not. But, for, like, I just, yeah. The the whole interacting with people part, if we, we if that could just be removed, that'd be great. Um, so, yeah. You know, that, that that's the event. Um, Score-wise, it was terrible. It was, it was interesting. Um, not exactly enjoyable. I would, if, if they're doing it again next year, then I will go, and I'll try to prepare better. I'll definitely try to prepare a lot better, um, because, like, though I didn't necessarily find it fun, um, interesting is enough. Um, you know, that, that was, like, it, it did, like, it, I feel like it would be worth doing again, um, but the thing is, I've also figured out that I don't want to do anything larger than this, really. Um, anything taking more than, like, two or three days is just off the, like, I've just, at this point, I've just decided if it takes, if the event is longer than a couple, like, you know, two, three, four days, and even four days, I wouldn't really do, but two, three days is roughly what I'd be okay with doing. If it's local to Europe, somewhere in Europe, and I can just, you know, catch a plane there and then plane back, um... And ideally in a country that speaks enough English that, you know, I, I can get around. Um, yeah, I'd be happy to do it. So basically anything in Europe, I'd be happy to do. Something more far away like US, like say the US or Taiwan. Uh, no, 
at, at this point, I've just decided no, because this was a small event, and it was already just, like, pretty much pushing, like, for me, that was pretty much the limit, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so, I don't really want to do anything bigger than that anytime soon. Um, and, uh, yeah, that that's it. So, that is it for the video. Um, I'm super happy to be back. I'm, I'm t back here in the UK. Uh, you know, all the hardware. I mean, I don't really care about that, that much about where I am as much as I care about the fact that the internet is fast again and I have all of my hardware. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm happy to be back and uh, got a whole bunch of Z390 motherboard stuff coming up. Uh, 7940X coming in. Just whole, whole, like, as usual, it's just like there's an endless pile of stuff waiting for me to get to. So, yeah, I, I mean, if you're not subscribed, you should. And that's it for the video. Um, so I'm going to go find that. There's the mouse. Hit the stop button. We all know I suck at outros.